All right, so I've got another tool for you to check out. It is called Intella Video. If any of you guys are building video heavy or video based platforms and services, this is definitely one for you to try and check out. Now, Intella Video allows you to easily monetize your videos. You can sell your videos on demand and you get a really awesome app and app experience for that and for your customers. So let me show you a little bit about how it works and some of my favorite features. So one of my favorite features are subscriptions, right? You can charge people for a monthly subscription for access to a package of types of videos or a total access to your app, whatever it might be, you can charge subscriptions for access to the video content. Also, there are some really great integrations available. So you can integrate with Stripe if you want to do payments or Squarespace, something else like that. Have some has some really cool integrations when it comes to bringing in other services or connecting to other services. Finally, you get some pretty awesome analytics with Intella videos. You can see users and their demographics and their engagement, all that data right there in the Intella video dashboard. So this is a quick view of what some of the Intella video interfaces look like. You get these really nice full screen videos and also an app for people to be able to engage with them. You can see here um, a quick preview of what the curated playlists look like. So you get to put together these packages with a particular price point on them of videos that people get access to. You can see here that this is being used for a workout video app, right? And then finally, you also get an app that is built in the App Store. You get some branding around that as well, your own branding on that app. And so it's a really nice web app, but also mobile app experience. It's based in video for your user. Now, I'm going to have Daryl do a quick overview for us um, on what IntelliVideo looks like on the inside so you can get a better feel about whether or not this is going to be a good tool for you to use for your app or your app pack. Here we are, and this is the dashboard. It lets you look at all kinds of juicy stuff. Back here on this end, I'll click, I'm on the left-hand side of the navigation um, menu, on the left-hand side of my screen. And as you can see, here's all of our media that's currently loaded, uploaded to IntelliVideo. These are various video and audio music files. Okay, And we're going to put a bunch more in there soon. And then I'm clicking on the next item on our shows you the various collections that we have. Here's a subscription functionality. And as you can see, we haven't sold any subscriptions yet, but all the uh, functionality is there to do so. So it's important to know what gets canceled and when and how. The various subscriptions that are there, the dummy subscriptions we put in. Tell me if I'm going too fast, Dan. No, you're perfect. Okay, I'm going to the next feature, which is the vein feature. And this is what I was talking about, that the front end that looks like, uh, behaves like Squarespace, which was uh, I was showing you a couple seconds ago. All of that functionality is the, is the back office. Cool. Functionality. So let me go to the next, I'm going to exit out of here. And what we could do if I wanted to use their front end is I have all these features and it's a lot, it feels a lot like, very much like striking it, it mm -hmm. on their front end. Uh, here's some more back end features. It allows me to monitor my customers. It gives me all the creative information I need in terms of my customers the PIN numbers, the logins, when they were created. I can look, I can have metrics on their engagement, metrics on demographics. Okay, awesome. So when it comes to price, we give IntelliVideo a C. There are some other competitors out there, um, and so it's kind of just in range with the other competitors out there on the market. So you can start your basic plan at $30 a month, and that gives you unlimited videos. But the catch is that they also, on top of that $30 a month, have a revenue sharing agreement. So that's the one thing that kind of docks it down a little bit below its other competitors is that 8 to 12% rev share. Good for when you're just starting out. It's okay. 
But later on, when you're doing lots of revenue, 8 to 12 percent is a lot of your revenue. So it's something to think about. So here's the pricing for Intel Video. You can see you can get started for $30 a month. And you can compare that to some other products like Vimeo, for example, where you can upload your videos and have your own sort of brand area on Vimeo Pro for $17 a month. The downside is you don't get all of your own custom branding as Vimeo branding all over it. Also, there's a tool called Yondo, uh, which starts at, I believe, $27 a month. But the downside here is you only get to have 25 videos for that $27 a month compared to Intelli Video, where you get unlimited for about that same price. So it's something to think about. Um, but Yondo does not have that revenue sharing um, cut that they take. So you've got to figure out which pricing model just makes the most sense for you, as well as which product you like. When it comes to ease of use, though, we give IntelliVideo a B plus. Really simple to set up, easy front end design. So what it looks and feels like to the customer is your front end design. What hurts it here in terms of ease of use is it supports kind of lacking. You really have to pull some teeth to get help um, from their support team when it comes to building your product. And finally, we give it an A when it comes to bells and whistles. It's got advanced analytics. You can integrate with Stripe or even any other analytics site. And the front end design features are really nice. You can make this thing look beautiful with your own branding. So overall, we give IntelliVideo an A minus. Really cool tool for you to use if you are thinking about building a video-based, video-heavy platform.